Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video, allow me to make an update about our chicken. Well, we got this chicken on January 2, 2020. I can recall that this chicken are even very cute that whenever I will say Dexter's World, they will go inside in the school. Guys, don't you know that these chicks are trainable? I make sure that every time I will give the feeds, I will make a whistle. so that they will receive the signal that they're gonna be fed and every time we gonna secure them inside the coop we will just shout Dexter's Sport so we will try this one oh no Dexter's World <laughs> Some of them are already inside and it's easy now to gather them because the moment they will hear Dexter's world, they will group themselves and secure themselves inside in the scoop. And that's the way how we train our chicken. And they were so cute, they were so vulnerable, they were so small. But now they're already big and some of them are already about to lay their eggs. Next month, I'm sure that this chicken, God willing, will really start laying their eggs. And that's gonna be the most exciting moment that I waited because I intend to produce massive chicks out of these layers. And I also would like to share these chicks to somebody else who would like to do this uh, free range chicken farming. So today, we are going to feed them once again. You will note that they are already very big. That the roosters are now weighing 3.5 to 4 kilos. And that's amazing because they are just barely 4 months. Allow me also to share with you what's happening inside. Our turkey have laid so many eggs already and some of them are now incubating their eggs. And even our native chicken are also laying their eggs. So this is a very positive development for this farm. So now we are going to open this one and we will allow them to eat their dinner. Okay. One, two, three, go! Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> See that? <laughs> and they have started mating. Some of them will mate at 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning and some of them will mate at this time, the 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We have two kinds of breed. We have the Rhode Island Red and we have the Sussel Chicken. So this one are the Rhode Island Reds. And oh my god, this is very heavy. This weighs four kilos. See that? And I learned that chicken will start to lay eggs at the age of six 
or maybe five and a half to six months and that's gonna be in the month of May or June that's why I'm really envisioning to make another coop for our layers another coop for our quills another coop for our ducks and another coop maybe for our exotic birds that's my plan and I kept on dreaming about this plan and I hope someday that I can realize all of this so come on let's go inside and let's have a tour about the native chickens that are now incubating their eggs come on So you look at this guys, you know, it doesn't require much of our attention as long as they are really being fed with good food, they will really lay their eggs. The attitude of this native chicken is similar to the birds because they wanted to make their nest. So you will see that this native hen is incubating around 10 eggs and this is the 10th day so we will wait for another 12 days and we will see again hatch of this chicks and another dozens of eggs will be added to this farm because right here we can also see another native hen that is laying eggs and in fact incubating now <laughs> look at them and they're just incubating side by side there is no problem because they have their own territory and they are not even fighting over their territory because they know where to lay and to sit so they have also their brains you know each of them has at least eight eggs who will try to see excuse me excuse me oh and this native chicken are really known to be good at incubating their eggs you see that wow one two three four five six and over there they have eight they have ten and they have ten all in all we can expect that how many weeks maybe two weeks from now we're gonna be able to add more than 30 chicks out of the four hens alone so this this area will be filled with so many chicken we are looking also forward to have another breed like the Plymouth bird rock and other breeds the big breeds the the mid type that I am really very eager and excited to avail of so we already have contacted some farms and they're willing to sell to us some materials for breeding sitting on their respective nest and each of them has more than 12 eggs so I estimated this third week of May I think we can see again some poults but this time it's already been incubated by the real <coughs> turkey hen the last time that you saw was the poults incubated by the chicken and now I'm allowing this hen of this turkey to really hatch their own eggs just like the native chickens they really wanted to have nest so they will become very comfortable they will lay eggs when you will provide them with nesting materials and maybe you will ask Dexter what's the secret well I already have told you all the secrets but one of which which uh, the subject of our video last time is the probiotics Guys, this is now the finished product of our probiotics culture. 
and this has been fermented for the period of seven days today is the seventh day so i believe that this is now a very good source of vitamins and protection for our chicken per 20 ml of these probiotics will be mixed with four liters of water see that and if you will smell this one it says it smells good oops okay and this could be given also to our rabbits to our chicken and even to our dogs we can give this one and even to the turkey so come on let's proceed over there and we will give this uh, water with probiotics to our chicken come on so guys they are really very eager to drink now and in fact some of them have already started drinking the water and maybe you will ask Dexter is there any significance why you hung your water well there is actually a very good significance in this method hanging your water because if you will just put this on the ground the chances are they will trample upon it and it will become very dirty and it will cause their disease my piece of advice is really for you to hang your water at the shoulder level of this chicken so that it will not become dirty and we can also give these probiotics to our rabbits these rabbits are just barely two months old and they are now very big and one of the sources of good vitamins for these rabbits is this probiotic that we are giving them mixing them in their water so come on let's give a dose of this very healthy drink come on guys okay In our next video, we're gonna show you how we made or constructed our rabbit coop. And this is a different thing. This is a different technology that I would like to introduce to those who are rabbit enthusiasts. Because maybe this is the first time that you will see that rabbits are just being raised on the ground level. And this is very effective. So I would like to share this with you guys. And that would be the next topic for our next video. So for the meantime, if you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads. I promise you, you will learn many things on this channel, only here at Dexter's World!